Hello, everyone. This is Travis from Coyote Moon Creative, your Squarespace web designer. In today's tutorial, I'm going to chat with you about Squarespace product blocks. These are the native blocks that pull in a single product from a products page on your Squarespace website. So, for example, if you're selling T-shirts, a good use case for the product block would be to add a section on your homepage and then add your top seller T-shirts uh, using a product block pulled into that section so that not only you're displaying your top sellers on your homepage, but you're also allowing your customers to shop the rest of your collection on the main product page from the main navigation. So one thing that is a bit of a problem with the Squarespace product block is as you can see here in uh, my example site is it doesn't look great. Um, so Squarespace doesn't allow a lot of customization on the product block. So You've got this baked in um, white background color. Um, sometimes it's hard to read the actual font. The weight might be a little bit too light. Um, you can't change the, the size of the product title, um, the size or the font weight of the price, et cetera, et cetera. So if we really wanna take this site to the next level and we wanna make the product block match the rest of the site in terms of the design, the aesthetic, et cetera, we're really gonna have to, have to add some custom code. And so this tutorial is gonna walk you through what custom CSS to add to your custom CSS editor in order to make this look a little more shiny. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump right in. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is target the product block title font. And that is this right here, in this case, Abalone. So from your home page, you're going to want to click into your custom CSS editor. Add a couple lines at the top to add your new line of code. And I'm going to copy and paste this line. So this is targeting the product block product details title, which again is right here. Whoops. We'll go back. So that's targeting your title. And you can see when we added it, it changed it from that really light font weight to this bold. Um, so we added a font weight of 700 and we added a text transformation of uppercase. Um, so immediately that just allowed that product title to pop a little bit on the page. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to target the product block price, as you see here. So you see what happens when I add this code. It automatically changed the color. So um, just kind of a mishmash of colors. Um, this is a, a design tactic and technique that's ages old, but you've got one color for the product title, another co color for the product price. And in this case, we're using this silver white color that's a part of their palette as the actual price color. And all we've done is we've targeted the product block, product details, price, and added a color um, with our hex value here. So the next thing we're going to want to target to continue uh, putting the shine on this Squarespace native product block is the variant font color. So the variant is, in this case, frame color and lens color. As you saw before I added the code, it had a really light font weight. It also had a different color. So we've used this same color from the price and added it to the variant titles. So now the frame color and lens color have a hex value here, new color, a, a different font weight. So instead of, let's say two or hundred, we bumped it up to a 600 font weight. And we've also added an uppercase text transformation um, so that all of these variant titles are in uppercase and they really look great on the page. Okay, the next snippet of custom CSS that we're going to add to the CSS editor is the option background. So you see immediately that background switched from white to black, which matches the color specifically of our section, but also of the palette, um, the color palette site wide. And we changed the um, the variant 
color, the actual font color from black to the green, which is a part of our color palette as well. So this one is targeting product block, product details, variant option, which is here and here. We've added a background color of black, which controls this background color. We've added a color of this green in our palette, which controls the title. We've added a border radius of 6px, which matches the look and feel of the button blocks and also other elements on the website. So again, we're looking for consistency. So even though the product block doesn't natively allow you to add border radius, we wanted to make um, the border radius really match the rest of the site. And then the last piece is just the text align of center. So we moved it from left justification to center, which just looks a little cleaner on the page since everything else is nice and centered. Okay, so the next CSS code snippet we're going to add to the CSS editor is our product block quantity text. Now that's this. So we've essentially just matched the variant titles with the quantity title. So everything looks consistent. It's got this custom color. It's got a custom font weight of 600 and it just looks clean. Okay, so the next piece of CSS code we're adding to our editor is targeting the border radius of the quantity. So we added a border radius here to this value of 6px. Now we've added a border radius of 6px to the quantity box as well. So border radius 8px. Uh, okay, so the last CSS code snippet we're going to add for this particular product block is the add to cart button. So we've switched it from the all green to a knockout green where um, we've ad also added a border. So now you can see the difference between the original native Squarespace product block and this new custom product block. It is easily achievable. Um, if you know how to access the CSS editor, you're on the Squarespace business plan, which is required to use custom CSS. You have all the tools and resources at your disposal to go in and really make this section pop. So again, um, this is Travis with Coyote Moon Creative. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. And if you guys have any questions, if you wanna review your website, or if you wanna chat about um, expanding your e-commerce store, um, shoot me an email at travis at coyotemooncreative.com or find me on my website. Thanks so much, guys. Take care.